Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is your opportunity to ask your Bible questions. You can send me your Bible questions. I'm not making any promises, but I do promise that I will do my best to give you a Bible answer. I'll give you the email address at the end of the broadcast. And we have a question today from a listener who asks this question. Is it right for a Christian to keep a holy day? And you know what? God actually speaks directly to this issue. He talks about this in the book of Romans, where he says in verse Let's see, verse, chapter 14, verse 4. Who art thou that judges another man's servant? To his own master he standeth or falleth. Yea, he shall be held up, for God is able to make him stand. Now, there are certain things, in other words, that are between us and God. And uh, they are gray areas. They really don't matter that much to God. It depends on what you want personally. And then he goes on to, to say what he's talking about here in verse 5 of Romans 14. One man esteemeth one day above another, another esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. He that regardeth it regardeth the day regardeth it unto the Lord. And he that regardeth not the day to the Lord, he doth not regard it. So what God is saying is that it's up to you. If you want to keep special holy days, that's up to you. If you want to set aside a holy day every year to celebrate God in a special way, that's your business. You have the right to do that as a Christian, and no one should tell you that you are wrong. On the other hand, you should not tell someone else that they are wrong for not doing what you're doing. In the area of holy days, it's up to the individual. And that's what God's view on that is. And even in the book of Colossians, he says, don't let anyone judge you with regards to holy days or feast days or religious days or anything like that. That's between you and God. I hope that helps. If you have a question for me, send it to scriptureverse by verse at gmail.com.